Right. One, two, three, give it up for Dave Harry, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Um, before I start tonight, I'd just like to issue a word of warning. This goes out to all you men in here tonight and all you girlfriends as well, obviously. There's this really attractive woman. She's going around the bars of Liverpool lately. And um, when I say attractive, she's really, really gorgeous. She's got gorgeous face, big lips, blonde hair, massive tits. She's wearing a low-cut top, tiny skirt, gorgeous legs, high heels. And what she's doing is, while well, we're just sitting there having a drink, maybe even with our girlfriends, or at the bar buying a drink, that's when she just struts over to us. <laughs> ever so sexily. And then just lifts up a skirt, ever so slowly revealing bare minge. <laughs> just starts to, like that. Grind it right in our faces. <coughs> yeah. Come on, come on. And that completely mesmerizes us men. I'm completely hypnotized by that. And that. <laughs> do you want me to do it again? <laughs> I can hypnotize you with this. Like a <laughs> you are getting sleepy. <laughs> well, anyway, when us men are hypnotized, that's when she just. She strikes, she leans over, grabs our wallets, and then runs. So, to all you men in here tonight, you better watch out. She's got one hell of a snatch. <laughs> Just polished off a full litre bottle of vodka before I came on. It's all nice and shiny now. So David Cameron, our Prime Minister, right, I think you'd like to know, he suffers from chronic penis discharge. <laughs> Found that out on Dicky Leaks. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I've been a long time Liverpool Football Club supporter. But uh, I've got a pet dog and he likes leads. <laughs> I'd like to tell you a bit about my background. Ain't no sex, it's not for pussies. <laughs> you see, I like to use snooker as a guide to my sex life. If the red's blocking the pink, go for the brown. <laughs> Try not to leave a white on the cushion. My granddad, he's into old women for some reason. <laughs> I mean, take me Nan, for example. She's, she's dead. I don't know if she's dead. That's right, she's dead. <laughs> Before she died. <laughs> Sorry, Nan. Before she died, 
she used to like to share little bits of knowledge and bits of wisdom to me. I remember one day she said to me, look me dead in the eye, she said, David, too many cocks spoil the breath. At least that's what I think she said. <laughs> she was sucking my granddad's dick at the time. <laughs> and his mates. <laughs> and my Uncle Tony's. Uncle on the other side, like. <laughs> See, they brought out these new bulletproof condoms. You can bang anyone. Imagine getting a blowjob off a snowman. How cool would that be? <laughs> so people who have near-death experiences, they always claim to see a light at the end of a tunnel. So just wondering what Princess Diana saw. So I wanted to watch White Men Can't Jump. When I got to the video shop, it was on the fucking top shelf, wasn't it? <laughs> I watched a documentary recently about a group of people coping with the after effects of ecstasy. It's called Come Down With Me. Someone tell me, why is Justin Timberlake so fascinated about this river in Crimea? <laughs> I've got this new contract phone, right, and it's fucking great. Every month, along with me minutes, I get sent box of Tetley as well. I'm on T-Mobile. <laughs> Does anyone know what time the Steps concert starts tomorrow? Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Shouldn't have fucking sniffed that glue before I came on. So anyway, I went to Asda. I was walking down the aisles, uh, noticed that they reduced the price of condoms. They're on rollback. <laughs> While I was there, I picked up an aluminium guitar, but to be honest, it's no good for heavy metal. Bought a pair of trainees the other day off the internet, they're from Asia. The laces on them are absolutely shite, I can only tie one. <laughs> so I went to the library, said, excuse me mate, got any books on tarantulas? Said, no sorry mate, they're all on shelves. Sorry to disappoint you. Do you know what they've gone and done now? They've gone and brought out a Cockney rhyme and slang version of the Bible. I know, I couldn't Adam and Eve. <laughs> I'll never forget what's his name. So I've, I've got a girlfriend, a very beautiful girlfriend. She's with me tonight. Um, one thing I don't like about her though is she slates me all the time, all over the internet. All the statuses on Facebook, they're all about me, horrible things about me. Even Twitter, especially Twitter. 
all the time. She just says horrible things about me all over Twitter. Proper slates me all the time. And to be honest, I think it's about time she starts to tweet me a bit better. <laughs> now, um, we ended up getting married anyway um, on the wedding day. Couldn't really afford to splash out loads of dough on a professional photographer, so uh, I just gave me mum a camera. And um, after just one photo, that's a sucker. Didn't take it very well. <laughs> I've got a twin brother. He's twice my weight, twice my height. Some people say he's the double of me. It's <laughs> absolutely stupid, our kid. He said to me the other day, he said, David, I've lost my calculator. He says, you can't always fucking count on me. <laughs> I shouldn't really make jokes about my twin brother. He, he's an amputee, you see. Likes to carry a knife up his sleeve, but it's okay, there's no harm in it. And there's my mum. My mum, right? I haven't seen her for a while, so I thought I'd go and pay her a visit. So I went down, knocked on the front door. She opened the front door, come at me with a coat hanger, just started poking me in the face with a coat hanger like that. Said, what are you doing, mum? She said, something I should have done fucking 24 years ago. Yes, yeah, she should, shouldn't she? I'll, uh, I'll leave you with this. <laughs> After that, I decided to go upstairs, lock myself in the bathroom, lock the door tight. I thought I'd have a shit. Really enjoying it as well. She got really comfortable, got stuck in and started me shit and then all of a sudden I just heard my mum screaming downstairs and crying and she, she ran upstairs she started banging on the bathroom door screaming she was like David 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 it's like what what's up mum she said it's your dad it's your dad I said sorry dad you sound like my mum there for a sec <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've been David Airy. Have a good night. David Airy, everyone! Awesome.